Hi everyone, so for the first video in my three part vegan Christmas recipe series I'm bringing you five canapé ideas which can be made individually as a platter together to serve to family and friends or used as a starter. So this first one I have is cheese and cranberry stuffed courgette rolls. For this you're going to first want to peel one large courgette into ribbons using a vegetable peeler. I made 12 strips altogether. Then place those on a lined baking tray, brush over a little olive oil on each side, season them with salt and black pepper and then put them under the grill but only for around five minutes. In that time make the cashew cheese by blending half a cup of soaked cashew nuts with two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, one tablespoon of lemon juice, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, some salt and black pepper in a food processor until it's smooth. Transfer that over to a bowl and then add in one handful of dried cranberries and mix that together well. Remove the courgette strips from the grill and add one tablespoon of the cheese onto the end of each strip and then roll each one up from one end to the other. Stand them upright on a plate and then drizzle over some balsamic vinegar and sprinkle over some finely chopped mint. The next one I have is some sun-dried tomato, olive and pine nut stuffed mushrooms. Preheat the oven to 180 degrees celsius and then start by breaking the stalks off of 10 mushrooms. The stalks can be reused and cooked so don't throw those away. Then place the tops on a lined baking tray and put them in the oven to cook for 20 to 25 minutes. In that time toast one tablespoon of pine nuts in a dry pan until they're nice and golden and then chop four sun-dried tomatoes and eight green olives and mix those together in a bowl with the pine nuts once they're done. Remove the mushrooms from the oven and top them with some sun-dried tomato cashew cheese. The recipe for this is down below. Then top each mushroom with the sun-dried tomato, olive and pine nut mix and finish each one with a sprig of fresh thyme. I next have these butternut squash slices with mustard, cranberries and walnuts. For these preheat the oven to 180 degrees celsius and then slice a quarter of a butternut squash into bite size pieces. Place those on a lined baking tray then put them in the oven to roast for 25 minutes. Remove them once they're done then top each piece with some whole grain mustard then sprinkle over some dried cranberries and chopped walnuts. Next I have some mini garlic and rosemary hassleback potatoes. First preheat the oven to 180 degrees celsius then wash your new potatoes. I took 10 of these all together and then slice each one three quarters of the way down from one end to the other and then place them on a lined baking tray. Brush each one with some garlic infused olive oil Top them with some sprigs of fresh rosemary and season them with salt and black pepper. Place those in the oven to bake for around 35 minutes. After that time they should come out beautifully golden and really nice and crispy. And then once they're done, serve them whilst they're still warm. And the final one is onion oat cakes topped with artichoke and spinach. For the oat cakes, first preheat the oven to 180 degrees celsius and then blend one cup of oats up in a food processor until it forms a flour. Next add in two tablespoons of onion flakes, one tablespoon of nutritional yeast, a tablespoon of olive oil, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, some salt and black pepper and blend that all together with one third of a cup of water. Once it's stuck together tip that out on a clean work surface with a little more oat flour and knead it together into a dough. Roll it out nice and thinly and then cut it out into oat cakes. I just use a jar for this and it's around one and a half inches to two inches in diameter which makes 16 oat cakes in total but depending on which size cutter you use you could make more or less than that. Place those in the oven to bake for around 20 minutes whilst you then make the topping. For this add one tablespoon of olive oil to a small pan on a low heat. Then add in one cup of artichoke hearts. I use defrosted from frozen but you could use jarred or canned and allow those to gently fry off. Next add in one tablespoon of nutritional yeast, 
one heaped teaspoon of whole grain mustard, cook that off and then add in one large handful of fresh spinach and let that cook down until it's wilted and then season it with salt and black pepper. Remove the oat cakes from the oven once they're done and then top each oat cake with the artichoke spinach mix whilst it's still warm. I then top mine with some pomegranate seeds and also some fresh parsley which I think looks really really Christmassy. As I say you could just make these individually if you wanted but I placed all of mine on a platter which is a great idea for if you have friends or family over but we just love to snack on things like these when we're watching a Christmas film in the evening. It's something fun also to have on Christmas Eve or you could even do these as starters for Christmas Day. There's so many textures and flavours going on here and you don't have to follow these again exactly. The best thing about canapes is that you can completely mix and match everything and just have fun with how you put them together. The butternut squash bites are also amazing on the oat cakes too as another way to serve those but I hope that this has maybe given you a few ideas. Stay tuned as I have a vegan Christmas dinner option coming soon and I also have some Christmas dessert ideas too. But all of the recipes in today's video will be written up in the description box below for you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!